Welcome to Cine Monica. Do you ever just make yourself some coffee, something good to eat, go over to your TV to watch something, only to spend an unspeakable amount of time just scrolling and scrolling through every streaming platform, hoping just that something sounds interesting enough to watch? So you throw the towel, you give up. Well, don't worry anymore because I will give you some great movies and TV shows that you can watch on every streaming platform or almost every streaming platform. I don't pay for all of them. It's a lot. I don't pay for cable, but honestly, all of these streaming services together just end up costing like cable. Anyways, let's start with the most popular streaming service out there that I'm sure almost everyone has at this point, and it's Netflix. Netflix shows and movies are a hit and miss, honestly, but you can definitely find some gems here and there. A TV show that I recently watched that I didn't hear a lot of people talking about is The Silent Sea. It's a Korean drama that stars Gong Yoo. Yes, that's the train guy from both Squid Game and Train to Busan. It also stars Beiduna. It's about this group of astronauts that are sent to the moon because there's a water shortage on Earth. There's basically no more water, so of course they go to the moon and see if they can find some water over there. As you can imagine, the government is being shady, and of course, what they find on the moon is not what they expected. This show falls into the category of sci-fi horror, and honestly, it had me glued to my seat. I don't like horror that much, but this sort of horror was more thrilling and sort of mysterious and very subtle. There's lots of tension and mystery in every single episode, so every time an episode ends, you're just like, I'm gonna have to watch the next one. The premise is honestly super interesting and there are some twists and some turns that, I mean, I did not see coming, I did not expect. So if you're looking for a new sci-fi horror, plus, I mean, got news in it, so <laughs> if you want to delight your eyes, I suggest that you watch The Silent Sea. Netflix has a great selection of movies from teenage rom-coms to Oscar-worthy dramas. But a movie that I think everyone should watch that is currently on Netflix is The Killing of a Sacred Deer. So this one is another kind of horror-ish thriller directed by Yorgos Lanthimos, who is known for making like really weird movies strange. When I first watched this movie, I could not stop thinking about it for days. It's very unsettling, I'm not gonna lie, so if you don't think you can handle psychological thrillers that are pretty disturbing, then I wouldn't suggest that you watch this, but if you want something that will keep your mind going at full speed while sim simultaneously going what the f I suggest that you watch this movie. It's about this surgeon, he has kind of like a god complex because of course he saves lives. This strange teenager comes into his life and turns his world upside down. <laughs> I don't want to give out spoilers, but trust me, this is a great thriller and just gorgeous filmmaking. Lastly for Netflix, I want to recommend an animated series called Arcane, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people have watched. But if you're still like on the fence or you just didn't really pay attention to it because it's animated, because it's about League of Legends, then just stop right there. It is just a piece of art. I don't play League of Legends, I don't know any of the characters and I was still able to enjoy this show so much because the storytelling is A+. The animation is so unique. Honestly, I was just in awe. The colors, the action, the music, the cinematography of the show, like it's seriously art. It's an amazing show. You do not need to play League of Legends to enjoy this. And if you're put off by animation, just give it a shot. <laughs> Moving on to Hulu. The first thing I want to recommend on Hulu is a documentary called Three Identical Strangers. This documentary tells a story about three men who were separated separated at birth, but they somehow found each other when they were adults and they discovered that they were triplets. Imagine you go through life not knowing that you're a triplet. This story does have a dark side. They go deep into the reason why they were separated like that at birth, why they were never told that they had siblings. It's pretty effed up. And honestly, it was just very, very bittersweet. Next, I wanna recommend a movie called Shoplifters. It's a Japanese movie that will just break you. It will break your heart, but it's also very, very wholesome. It's about these people who are very poor. They resort to shoplifting and other things to survive. They are not blood family. They are pretty much chosen family. So it's people that 
don't really have a place in the world that found each other and are just trying to survive together. This film is absolutely lovely. You will feel very sad at some points, you will cry, but ultimately there's just no way that you can not love this movie. To me, this is one of the greatest films about family, specifically chosen family. Sorry, Vin Diesel. Family, family, family. Yeah. Let's move on to HBO Max. I honestly love HBO Max. I feel like that might be my favorite streaming service. They just produce quality shows, quality movies. They also have the entire Studio Ghibli collection. So, I mean, they're already winning. Speaking of Studio Ghibli, this isn't a movie, but they currently have a loop of all of the nature scenes in Ghibli movies. It is the most relaxing thing ever. If you just want to have some like background noise while you study or while you do chores, this is just perfect. Someone's totally gonna grab this and put a lo-fi beat underneath. I want to recommend a TV show on HBO Max and it's called Station Eleven. Station Eleven is about a pandemic. It might be too soon for some people. If you think you're in the right headspace to watch something about a pandemic, this TV show is great. And I've been told that it's actually a book. I have not read it, but I imagine that it's pretty great. Too. So in this show, there is a deadly virus that ends civilization as we know it. 20 years pass and then we see the characters living in this post-apocalyptic world. There's a twist to it that I found really interesting and it's very focused on art and how the characters rely on art just because they want to keep art alive. In this case, there's a group of characters that are in a traveling theater group. Acting is a very big part of the show. Yeah, I just found that very interesting. In most like post-apocalyptic shows and movies, People focus a lot on fighting and killing and surviving and things, things like, like that. that. And although there is some stuff like that in this movie, it just really surprised me how the most important thing for them was just art. And I don't know, I found that really nice. <laughs> it's a very emotional show. It has a lot of flashbacks, which I loved. It's one of those shows that you'll want to keep watching after each episode. Another TV show that I loved from HBO Max is The White Lotus. The White Lotus is a pretty popular show. I'm pretty sure a lot of you already watched it, but if you haven't, I honestly can't recommend it enough. It's about a group of people who go to this resort in Hawaii. This particular group of people are all very white and rich and very unaware. They're very privileged, but they don't know that they are. The thing about this show though is that it's very comedic, but also thrilling and mysterious. There's just an unsettling feeling in each episode. The music honestly was one of the things that I loved the most about the show. It really like drew you in and almost like hypnotized you. I know that they announced the second season already and Aubrey Plaza is gonna be in it and also Hayley Lou Richardson, so I'm very, very excited. The next recommendation from HBO Max is a movie and it's called Judas and the Black Messiah. This movie is also pretty popular. I know that it was nominated for the Academy Awards. This movie includes some of the most powerful performances I've ever seen in any movie, both from Daniel Kaluuya and Lakeith Stanfield. It is the story of Fred Hampton, who was the chairman of the Black Panther Party and how he was assassinated by the police. It was honestly just phenomenal and I think that they should show this movie in every single high school in the United States. Just impressive in every single way, but what blew me away the most was the performances. The next streaming service is Amazon Prime. My first recommendation is a movie called Burning and I've talked about this movie a lot on my channel because it's one of my absolute favorite movies. It's a Korean movie that's based on a Murakami short story and it stars Steven Yeun who is one of my favorite actors. It's about a guy who meets this girl and they kind of hit it off, they kind of like each other, but then she goes on a trip. When she comes back, she made a mysterious new friend named Ben. He has money, he has style, and he's basically everything that our protagonist is not. But he has a really dark secret, and this is when things get strange. I feel like this movie is very hypnotic. It just draws you in because you don't really know what's happening. You don't really know what this mysterious secret is. You just know that this guy is troubled. It's very haunting, but at the same time, extremely beautiful to look at. The cinematography is incredible. This movie has kind of like this poetic feel to it and I recommend it. It's kind of slow. It's not really that slow for me, but 
just a warning. Next, I wanna recommend the TV show and it's called The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. It's super witty, super funny, very entertaining. And the showrunner is the creator of Gilmore Girls. So if you really like Gilmore Girls like I do, you'll probably like the show. It's written in kind of the same style, you know, really fast dialogue, very witty. It's about this woman who wants to become a comedian. What I love the most about the show is that it's not only super funny, but the characters are so likable. I also really love the fashion in this show. If you still haven't watched it, I really recommend that you do. I know that a new season is coming out really soon, so yeah. Next is Disney Plus. Now, I know that every single show or movie that Disney Plus releases is extremely successful. I don't think there are like hidden gems of original Disney Plus movies and shows. They have Marvel and they have Star Wars and Pixar and Disney. So I'm gonna recommend a couple of movies that are available on Disney Plus. Maybe you didn't know that they were there. So the first one is Edward Scissorhands. Yes, Edward Scissorhands is available on Disney Plus. So if you haven't watched it or you really like it and you wanna rewatch it, it's there. As we all know, Edward Scissorhands is about this young man who has scissors for hands. He has a bunch of blades and so he's an outcast because of that. His look is also very like emo, I guess, in a town where everything is colorful, all of the houses are different colors. Edward Scissorhands, it's a great movie, it's just a classic. Another movie that I loved as a child. I know for a fact a lot of people my age also loved it as a child is a goofy movie. So if you haven't watched it in a while and you want to reminisce about your childhood, listen to some great bops because honestly the music in that movie is just A tier. Yeah, a goofy movie is on Disney Plus, which is more obvious I guess, but just a reminder, you know, if you just want to like cook some dinner, a goofy movie on the TV and sing eye to eye at the top of your lungs, now's your chance. All right, those are all of my recommendations. I know I didn't talk about every single streaming service because as I said before, I don't pay for all of them. It's a lot of money. <laughs> but if you have more recommendations from the streaming services that I talked about in this video or other streaming services that I didn't mention, please comment down below with your recommendations because we're all always looking for things to watch. I hope that you guys find something new to watch from my list and that you enjoy it. And thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Thank you.